you're talking to me with all these questions like you think I have Twitter premium, like you don't have eyeballs. So you're, you're kind of getting on my nerves. There, there's too many questions to answer all at once. The, you, you're you demonstrating a, a total fundamental lack of understanding of the Greek language. The, the way you're using lowercase g god, uppercase g god, spirits, entities, you're demonstrating a, a fundamental ignorance of everything you're saying. So you don't pay me enough to fix that for you. But I'm going to I'm going to work at it for about a minute and a half. You're using the word god and god interchangeably. Capital G god is the one, the equal, the all. It's the the mind of the universe, but it's even more than that because the mind of the universe is Jesus. The all is the thing that sits outside the expanding universe. It's it's whatever it's 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 completely ineffable it's inexplainable theoi is what you're using when you're talking about lowercase g gods theoi are an entirely different thing that lowercase g god means absolutely nothing that's a terrible translation the difference in a theoi and a nature spirit is it's negligible there is no difference you're talking about you're talking about non-human, super-intelligent entities or ghosts, human spirits, formerly human entities. When you're talking, what you're saying when you're talking gods are humans that have been bound in ritual magic to the earth, to a spot, like a house god. When you're talking about these extra human entities, you're talking about something entirely different.